It is me, Dana G, and I just want to take a minute to ask you to push that subscribe button. Push the subscribe button, watch my videos, push the like button, share it with all your friends and family, because without you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit right here. <laughs> so anyway, don't forget, subscribe, like, share, and just watch the videos, because sometimes they're actually decent. Sometimes you just never know what the hell's coming out of my mouth. So I know it's been a while, but welcome back to my channel. It is me, Dana G, in the flesh, and I have been getting a lot of uh, private messages asking where I've been. Um, and they, the truth of the matter is I've been right here. Um, I had to take a little time off from writing and video making and all those other good things. Um, of course I start talking and the rabbits are going to start moving around. I fed them so that they would be quiet, but apparently we're not keeping our end of the deal, are we ladies? So. Anyway, um, I had to take some time off. We went ahead and did fair in April, and then May was just kind of uh, wrapping up school and trying to figure out life and what we were going to do, and then we decided that we were going to reorganize and redistribute our work area because I acquired my three Angora, French Angora rabbits. Um, so we had to take some time to build some hutches and install them and that's that's what you hear in the background if you You can probably hear my fan because I live in southern Arizona. It's hot um, So I had the fan going because the ring lights are really hot and then the ladies are behind me or behind the ring light uh, hippity hopping all over the place. So anyway Anyway so, um, you'll probably notice that some things have changed. Uh, one of the things I noticed when I was watching other YouTubers was that they stand up and they move around and I thought, you know what, that would be totally cool because I, I had myself kind of blocked in with the curtain background and I was sitting all the time and it wasn't necessarily uh, the funnest way to do things. So we changed our background. We as you can see, we put some flowers up. My sister made those for her baby shower, um, and they turned out really good. And we added some white lights to them, so at night, instead of having the daylights, um, that's what the, the light bulbs are actually called, daylight light bulbs, uh, we can have just the white light from the Christmas tree lights. And then behind me, you can see my wall. Here, I can turn the light off so you can see it better. Um, this is my wall of inspiration. So uh, a lot of the pictures are pictures that people have sent me um, or, you know, sent me through private message and I just had them printed up. Um, and a lot of them are pictures that I found like on the internet. Um, like this one here is the one when I think of my main character um, she is the one that I think looks most like her at least in my mind so so yeah so anyway that's that's what I've been up to I've been decorating and organizing and cleaning and doing all kinds of stuff plus my editor and I have been doing a lot of content editing which I was unaware that content editing could be so time consuming. And I think the reason why is because when you're doing grammar and spelling, that's pretty easy. You know, there's rules for grammar and spelling, and so it's easy. You, could, you need a punctuation here, you need a spelling there, whatever the case may be. But content editing has really been challenging because you know, she'll go through and she'll be like, well, maybe we should take this out because it's not necessary or maybe we should add some of this. And then every time you have to add something, you have to, you almost have to rewrite the whole, uh, like, situation. Like when you're adding conversations between characters, um, you have to actually, like, make sure that it all lines up still. Or one of the things I'm adding right now is the detail 
of a very specific building. Um, and so the, the thing I'm struggling with that isn't necessarily finding the details to describe the building, it's deciding what exactly I want it to be. So there's a lot that goes into it. And I am totally digging the fact that I can move around now and I'm not stuck in the chair. Um, I'm still getting used to this motion and all of this freedom. Uh, so if I make you sick by moving around too much, I apologize. <laughs> I'll get it together. So anyway, and today I am going to be talking about beta readers and why they are so very important to independent authors. All right, so you may be asking yourself, what is a beta reader? And I would tell you, a beta reader is an individual who starts having a conversation with an independent author like myself, um, or in my case, my editor who runs my beta reader uh, information for me because a lot of times I found that when a beta reader is communicating directly with the author, which I, I do do, but I have found that they're much more open to the be honest uh, with my editor because with me, this is my work and they want to be polite. And I, anyway, with me, I've noticed that beta readers love to communicate with me and I love to communicate with my beta readers. However, I've noticed that sometimes they find it very difficult to be blatantly honest. And so my editor has taken over my beta reader program for me. So what she does is she collects email addresses for people who are interested. She sends out chapter by chapter a piece of my book to each individual who signs. So yes, yeah, so she sends out each chapter one by one and after you, uh, the beta reader is done with the chapter, she sends them questions. And a lot of times what she'll do is she'll send the chapter and in a separate attachment, she'll put the questions down at the bottom. And that way, as soon as you're done reading the chapter, you go straight into the questions and it's raw and you still have all those feelings built up and you can just say, this was the best chapter I've ever written in my entire life and I can't wait to get the rest of the book. Or you can write, you know what? This was a giant piece of horse shit, okay? One, and you can go into great detail. Now, how does this benefit me? Let me tell you. When you give me your honest feedback as far as how my book is, like each chapter, I really like this. It's flowing. And if you get chapter eight and you're like, wait a minute, something has happened. You have chapters one through seven. You can go back on your own time. You can kind of make sure that it all flows. You can finish reading chapter eight. And then you can send me an email and say, hey, dumbass. No, I'm kidding. Well, you could, but that would kind of hurt my feelings. But no, anyway, so you give me your feedback. Yes, this chapter, it rocked. The story is flowing. I can't wait to get the rest of it. It's absolutely amazing. Now, how does this benefit you and me as like working together? Well, one, if you give me your honest feedback, we are creating a totally awesome epic adventure for other people to enjoy which will put me on the best seller list which everybody wants to be there hmm. also what i do as an added incentive for my beta readers is that when i do publish i am offering a free autographed paperback for all of my beta readers who helped me get my story to the finish line and helped me to make it an epic story. Also, I'll put in some extra little goodies to make it, you know, personal. And it's, it's my way of thanking you because really you're giving me your time and I'm giving you my book. And in return, you're gonna give me your honest feedback. Um, yeah, because the truth of the matter is, is that without beta readers, I mean, I would be like, yeah, my book is awesome. It's the best book I've ever written. 
and I can hand it to my family. And my family would be like, Woohoo! Dana, you did good! This is great! But it's a stranger who won't have a problem saying, This is horseshit. <laughs> and that's what I need. I need a stranger to be like, Hey, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't working. Okay? So if one person says, Hey, I didn't like this. If multiple people are saying, hey, I didn't like this, then you need to start taking notice. And that's what I need. I need multiple people to go through and say, this was great, this wasn't great. So anyway, that's what a beta reader does. And it's also a really great way to kind of develop a relationship with not just the author, but other people who are interested in the same story that you're interested in. Um, and you get kind of a personal thing going on. And you guys, I have an entire like Facebook page dedicated to my beta readers where you guys can actually converse with one another. And yeah, you like this. Yeah, you didn't like this. Start a conversation with somebody else who's reading the book. Your comments are going to help make this book better. Okay. So that's what it is. You actually get to be a part of the creative process you get to have at the end of it you'll get a free autographed copy which you never know someday might be worth like a trillion dollars yeah I've never seen <laughs> that'll go out so anyway if you are interested in becoming a beta reader I will put the link to our beta reader Facebook page where you can sign up I will also put a link or uh, the email addresses to myself and the editor who you can get information from as far as being a beta reader. And yeah, other than that, what else does a beta reader do? Beta readers, they're like awesome. Yeah. So don't forget if you're interested in being a beta reader, that's an awesome thing. I'll tell you more about it. Um, we've got a lot of really cool stuff that's going to happen. The book is like totally awesome. I think you're going to love it. But you know what? Without your feedback and without your honest opinions, who knows? It could be a giant pile of horse shit. I don't know why I keep calling it horse shit. It should be goat shit. You know you can burn that stuff as fuel, right? That way you can save some trees. I'm going to have to make a whole new video about that. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, so anyway, if you want to become a beta reader, yeah, go down to the link below. Let me know if you want to be a beta reader. I would really greatly appreciate it. And at the end, you get a prize. And that's what's important. Everybody wins. So anyway, until next time. And I just want to take a minute to ask you to push that subscribe button. Push the subscribe button, watch my videos, push the like button, share it with all your friends and family. Because without you, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit right here in the little YouTube box. Don't forget, subscribe, like, share, and just watch the videos. Because sometimes they're actually decent. Sometimes you just never know what the hell's coming out of my mouth. So, anyway, until next time.